loved doing paint by numbers when I was a kid, which is no big surprise because now I always have to be making something, painting something, doing something with my hands. So anyway, um, this just took me a couple hours. I love it because I could do it ahead of time. Um, I could just keep this for weeks and it'd be, it would be just fine until I'm ready to put it on a cake. So maybe I'll even save it for my son's birthday in a couple months and he would love to see himself on a cake. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna show you pbnfi.com. I'm gonna show you how I run it through my edible printer. The canvas goes right through my edible printer um, with the key on it. And then I printed out the color palette on regular paper. And then I'm gonna mix my own colors with the gel food coloring. You definitely need to have a bottle of white on hand to make it opaque. And um, that's it, so let's get started. I'm not associated at all with pbnfi.com. I just found them because I was looking for an easy way to turn a photo into a paint by number key. So here we are at pbnfi.com. I'm clicking browse to find the photo that I'd like to use and uploading it to the site. The next step is going to be to click on different points on the picture to select your color palette. So I wanna make sure to get a wide range of colors Without going overboard, I really don't want to use so many colors that it takes me forever and are, you know has a lot of tiny little spaces. I, I found that for this photo, a nice close-up of a face, that 12 colors seems to be a, a good manageable amount to come up with a nice paint by number. I have two colors that look really similar here, so I'm just going to delete the one that I don't like. And I just want to make sure that the colors from his skin, um, that I show a wide range of shading to really bring out his features. And so I want those uh, flesh tones to be really different from each other um, so that you can see that shading. I'm trying to get the whites of his eyes and it's not really coming up with a white, but if you really look at it, it's not a true white in the photo anyway. So I'm just gonna trust, trust the process and see how it goes. After I choose all the colors, I'm going to click on the button above that says PBNFI. It's right above there. It's kind of hard to see on this screenshot, but here it is right here. And it takes a few minutes. When it's finished, here's what it looks like. It shows you what the uh, colors will look like when you make your paint by number. And if you like it, and I do, you click save in the middle part there. And um, it, when you click save, for some reason, instead of saving, it just lets you go ahead and print it. So this is the key. I'm printing it now onto my canvas. Uh, I'm using my edible printer from Icing Images and I'm using the edible canvas and printing the key. What I'm using is the Edible Images Edible Canvas. This is a pretty new product from them. I want you to see the texture on it. So it looks like a canvas painting in the end. Now the palette I'm printing out on regular paper. You could use your edible printer for that. You can use your regular printer for that. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I went ahead and used regular paper because I just don't want to waste any edible paper for that task. I just need to have my palette in front of me when I go to paint. This is what prints onto the paper. See the key there? And the color palette prints onto regular paper. has the plastic backing on it as you can see when I'm ready to put it on the cake I'm going to just spray the cake covered with fondant um, spray the cake with a little bit of water and make sure it's just nice and even not any big droplets of water just a nice even sticky uh, fondant and then I'm going to take this off of the backing and wrap it around the cake you see how it stays flexible even after it has dried now it's not fully dry, I'm getting little smudges on my fingers of, of paint because it's gel coloring, it's gel food coloring. Um, so it did not fully, fully dry, but it dries enough to use it. Um, obviously you can use this canvas for any kind of painting. It doesn't have to be a paint by number, but I just really like the vintage look. Mm -hmm. 